For anyone who believes China's construction frenzy has slowed down, think again. The country is on the brink of completing some of its most colossal and visionary infrastructure undertakings ever. And 2025 marks a historic finish line. From mountain-cutting canals to high-speed trains tunneling under rivers, and from massive hydro storage stations to frontier-crossing railways, China's engineering push is hitting a new peak. These aren't just internal upgrades. These are strategic mega-projects that aim to redirect trade, assert geopolitical presence and integrate distant regions into the national economy. Many of these ventures were initiated during China's 14th five-year plan, 2021 to 2025, a policy roadmap that sets clear national goals and ensures projects are not only approved, but executed. So what's coming online in 2025, and how might it impact China and the rest of the world? Number 5. Pinglu Canal, a 5,000-ton shortcut through the mountains. Deep in Guangxi Province, one of China's most daring transport projects is nearing completion. The Pinglu Canal, expected to be operational by late 2025, this isn't just a minor waterway. It's the first major canal China has constructed since the Sui Dynasty over a millennium ago. What makes it extraordinary is its scale and purpose. Designed to handle 5,000-ton cargo ships, the canal aims to connect the Xiang River system, which which serves inland, resource-rich provinces like Guizhou and Yunnan, directly to the Beibu Gulf and, by extension, the South China Sea. That means bypassing long, costly truck and rail routes currently needed to move goods to coastal ports. With a budget of approximately $10 billion, construction began in 2022 and quickly became one of the world's largest ongoing earth-moving operations. Over 35,000 workers have manually carved through 340 million cubic meters of earth using minimal minimal automation and maximum manpower. Three enormous ship locks, some of the world's largest, are being installed to manage the elevation changes. Once functional, the Pinglu Canal could handle up to 100 million tons of cargo annually, transforming it into a vital artery for coal, cement, grain, and raw material exports. By rerouting trade directly from inland to sea, China is literally reshaping its economic geography pulling the center of commerce inland away from traditional coastal bottlenecks. Number 4. Shenzhen Jiangmen High Speed Rail Beneath the Pearl River in southern China, another breakthrough is taking place, this time under the water. The Shenzhen Jiangmen High Speed Railway is poised to bridge two major cities separated by a mere 100 kilometers. But instead of building over the Pearl River estuary, China is tunneling beneath it. This new line spans just 116 kilometers but carries a hefty price tag of 5.6 to 6 billion dollars due to the geological complexity involved. At its heart lies the 13 kilometer long Shiziang Tunnel, a submarine passage built using one of the world's largest slurry shield tunnel boring machines. Why go through the trouble? Routing the railway around the estuary would add hours to the trip. The underwater shortcut, however, will reduce travel time between Shenzhen and Jiangmen to just 30 minutes. But this project isn't just about shortening commutes. It's a key component of the Greater Bay Area Integration Plan, a strategy to unify 11 cities, including Hong Kong, Macau, Guangzhou, and Shenzhen into a single $2 trillion economic zone. Once connected to the National High Speed Rail Network, the new line will boost cargo movement, reduce regional congestion, and help transform the Pearl River Delta into a seamless super region. As of mid-2025, tunneling is finished and track laying is over 50 percent complete. Testing is expected to begin in the third quarter of 2025. Number 3. Luxie Pumped Storage Plant – A Giant Water Battery while sleek solar panels and towering wind turbines often steal the spotlight in clean energy conversations, China's Luxie Pump Storage Power Station is a silent game changer. Located in Hunan Province and nearing completion in late 2025, it's essentially a battery made of water and gravity. This hydro-powered storage facility can output up to 3.6 gigawatts, more than the Hoover Dam, albeit in short bursts. Here's how it works. During times of excess electricity, especially from wind and solar, the station pumps water uphill into a reservoir. When demand surges, the water flows back down through turbines, generating electricity instantly. Luxie's setup includes two artificial reservoirs at different elevations and a vertical drop of over 400 meters. Its six turbines can go from zero to full power in under 30 seconds. Once operational, it will produce approximately 6.66 billion kilowatt hours annually. 
enough to power 4.5 million households. With a total investment nearing $4.8 billion, this project is part of China's broader strategy to build flexible, resilient energy systems. Unlike lithium-based storage, pumped hydro doesn't face supply chain risks or chemical degradation. It's clean, efficient, and built to last. Number 2. Guizhou's Big Data Valley not all infrastructure is made of concrete and steel. Some of it lives in the cloud. In Guizhou, the, a landlocked, mountainous province better known for agriculture and mining, China is finalizing one of its most ambitious tech developments, the Guizhou Big Data Valley. By the end of 2025, it's expected to become one of the nation's premier hubs for cloud computing, AI training, and data storage. So why Guizhou? Simple land, power, and climate. The province's cool climate lowers server cooling costs. Its access to abundant hydroelectricity ensures low emission energy for power-hungry data centers. And land prices here are significantly cheaper than in coastal cities like Shanghai or Shenzhen. Originally launched in 2015, the project accelerated dramatically after being incorporated into the National Digital China Initiative in 2020. As of now, tech giants such as Alibaba, Tencent, Huawei, and China Telecom are are all building facilities here. Over 4 million servers are slated for deployment, running everything from e-commerce platforms to financial data services. What makes this project stand out is its dual focus, commercial computing and state-run experimentation. Guizhou is a pilot zone for smart city initiatives, AI-driven traffic systems, and blockchain-based public record keeping. It's where China tests tomorrow's digital governance tools before scaling them nationally. In 2025, the Valley will also unveil a national-level AI model training facility and China's largest edge computing lab, critical for real-time processing in self-driving cars and robotics. Number 1. Sichuan Tibet Railway Arguably the most extreme of all the 2025 mega projects is the Sichuan Tibet Railway, a 1,900 kilometer engineering marvel designed to connect Chengdu, Sichuan's capital, to Lhasa, Tibet's capital. The most difficult stretch, from Ya'an to Nyingchi, is scheduled to be completed by the end of 2025. This 1,011 kilometer segment traverses some of the world's most rugged terrain, including fault zones, unstable slopes, and high altitude valleys approaching 3,000 meters. Over 90% of the line is made up of tunnels and bridges, including the 42-kilometer-long Yigong Tunnel. With a staggering estimated cost of $44 billion, the project isn't just an engineering feat, it's a geopolitical flashpoint. The railway runs close to the contested India-China border in Arunachal Pradesh, raising alarms in New Delhi about its potential military applications. Chinese officials frame it as an economic development tool, but Indian analysts note its dual-use potential, especially in a region region prone to military standoffs. The line could allow for rapid troop and equipment deployment, significantly reducing China's logistical disadvantages in the Himalayas. Once completed, the railway will slash travel time between eastern Tibet and central China from multiple days to just 13 hours, transforming the movement of people, goods, and emergency supplies in one of the world's most remote regions. The full Chengdu Lhasa line is expected to be completed by 2030, establishing a continuous high-speed rail connection across the Tibetan Plateau. And that wraps up our deep dive into China's 2025 mega projects. From mountain carving canals to undersea bullet trains, gravity-powered batteries to digital super hubs hidden in the hills. And hey, if you found this as fascinating as we did, smash that like button, subscribe for more eye-opening breakdowns from around the world, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.